I have a couple blocks here, but if you don't have two blocks, don't worry about it. Um, maybe grab a couple of thick pillows, that might help as well. Uh, that being said, let's get going. So you're gonna place your two blocks on the lowest height. If you don't have two blocks, your hands are just coming right to the ground. Shoulders over top of the wrists and knees a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So from here, we're gonna move through cat cow. So lift the chest to the gate of the shoulders, send the tailbone up, take a nice big inhale. And then when you exhale, round, push away from the floor. And we'll do that again. Inhale, take the chest forward, send the tailbone up. And then exhale, round and push away. Let's do a couple more. Just following your own breath. And then one more round. And then come into a neutral spine. So you're gonna take your blocks and place them on the highest height and bring your elbows onto the block. So if you don't have those blocks, elbows are just coming right to the ground. You're gonna bring your hands together in prayer and send your fingers up. So from here, you're gonna lower your chest down towards the ground. And you can either keep the fingers facing the ceiling or you can bring your hands back so your hands are in between your shoulder blades. Either way, I want you to envision like you're trying to get the armpits to touch the floor. Create some opening through the chest, the shoulders, the triceps. Let's take one more breath here. And then lift yourself up. Place your blocks on the lowest height. So hands come back on the blocks, bring your right knee to center and you're gonna take your left leg straight back and tuck your toes under. So you're gonna drive all your weight back into that left heel, get a nice stretch of the calf. And then shoulders come over top of the wrist and you're gonna lift that left leg up. So from here, the left toes face the ground and you're just gonna tap the foot to the floor and then lift the leg back up. So you're gonna do a couple more, just tapping the foot down, lifting the leg up. Feel like the crown of the head is reaching forward. Three, for two, one more, lift it up and hold. And if you wanna try a little balance, reach your right arm forward. Set your hand down, set your foot down. Now turn your right toes to face the right side so you're creating a kickstand for yourself. Rotate the hips to the left and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. So do what you just did, but you're gonna lift that left leg up so heel comes in line with the hip, and then tap the foot down, and then lift the leg back up. You're gonna keep going. For three, two, one, lift it up and hold. Feel like you're pushing your left foot into the wall behind you. Now set your left foot down onto the ground. You're gonna lift yourself up. Left hand's gonna rest on that left leg. Reach your right arm up and over. And then come back to center. Windmill your hands back to the floor or those blocks and come into table. So now bring your left knee to center. Take your right leg straight back, tuck your toes under and then drive your weight back into that right heel. And shoulders come over top of the wrists. Lift your right leg up, so make sure you're not swaying through the spine. You're gonna tap your right foot down to the floor and then lift the right leg back up. So do a couple more rounds on your own. Now next time you lift it up, hold there. So you can either keep both hands where they are or you can choose to reach that left arm forward. Set your left hand back to the block, set your right foot down. Now turn your left toes to face the left side, rotate your hips to the right, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Then lift that right leg up, heel comes in line with the hip, tap the foot down, and then lift the leg back up. Keep going. For three, two, 
Next time you lift the leg, hold there. Again, feel like you're just pushing that foot back. And then set your right foot down. You're gonna lift yourself up and then reverse it. So your right hand's just gonna rest gently on the right leg, reach your left arm up and over. And then windmill your hands back to the floor or the blocks coming into that table. And then tucking your toes under, lift the hips up and back for downward dog. So separate your feet about mat distance apart. Bend one knee, straighten the other, and just shifting side to side. Now lifting the heels up, you're gonna bend your knees and walk or waddle your way to the front. So your feet are gonna land either behind your hands or behind the blocks. But keep the feet wide, bend your knees and just come into a rag doll. So let the head just fall. You can also rest your hands on the thighs here. You can add a little sway. Now put a nice big bend into your right leg. So your hips are gonna to rotate to the left and just reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Let that top arm fall back. And then set the left hand down to the block or the floor. Bend into the left leg. Rotate your hips to the right and reach that right arm up. And then set the right hand back to the blocks. Now adjust your blocks to the highest height. Bend your knees and take a big step back with your right leg and then wiggle the toes back even more. Bring your blocks now to the inside of that left foot and just rock your hips forwards and backwards. Now set your right knee down to the floor. You can stay with the blocks on this height or you can lower them down. You can keep the hands on the blocks or maybe bring your forearms down to the floor or sorry, the blocks. Now you can choose to stay where you are. If you'd like a quad stretch here, you're gonna bring your back heel in and reach back with either hand for that foot. Let go of that foot, bring both hands back to the blocks. So the, if the blocks aren't on the highest height, bring them back to the highest height. Tuck your right toes under, pick up your back knee. Drop your back heel down to the center of the mat. So rotate your hips to the right and reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. So you can press that left arm into the left leg and feel like you're sending your tailbone, like you're tucking it under. And then reach your right arm now towards the front of your mat. So bicep just hovers above the ear, keep the sternum lifting up towards the ceiling. And then bring your right hand back to the block, turn on the ball of that right foot, and then bring your blocks to the lowest height. And then step back, downward dog, but that wide downward dog. Then lifting the heels up, bending your knees, walk or waddle your way to the front of the mat. Come into that rag doll, so feet wide, let your head just drop, rock side to side. And now bring your blocks to the highest height, bend your knees. You're taking a big step back with that left leg, wiggle it back. Bring your blocks to the inside of your right foot and you're just coming forwards and backwards into the hip. And then set your left knee down. So again, you can keep the blocks at this height, keep the hands on the blocks or you bring your forearms down to the blocks. So if you did on the first side, you can add in that quad stretch here by re reaching back with either hand for your foot. And then let that foot go. Both blocks on the highest height if they aren't already. Tuck your left toes under, pick up your back knee. Drop your back heel to the center of the mat. So feel like you're drawing your heels in towards one another. Rotate the hips to the left and then reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. 
And then from here, reach that left arm now to the front of the mat. So bicep hovers. And then bring your left hand back to the block. Turn the ball of your back foot. Adjust your block to the lowest height. And then step back for that wide down dog. And now you're going to come down onto your knees. Swing your legs to either side. And we're going to come down onto our backs. So as you make your way down onto your backs, you're going to bring your feet on the blocks. So if you don't have the blocks, just your feet are coming right down to the floor. Make sure your blocks are about hip distance apart. Hands on the ground, framing your hips. So as you press your feet in the blocks, lift your hips up a little bit. Curl under with the pelvis, so find that posterior tilted pelvis. Engage the glutes and the hamstrings, and then lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Using the glutes, lower the hips down to a hover, and then lift them back up. So you can do a couple more glute bridge lifts on your own. Few more. Last one. And then slowly lower all the way to the ground. So you can just use your feet and just adjust those blocks off to the side. And then leave your left foot on the ground and take your right leg up towards the ceiling. So if you do happen to have a shirt, a towel, a strap, you can hook that around the ball of your right foot here. Otherwise, just walk your hands up the leg. And then you're going to bend the knee and open up the hip like you're trying to tap your right knee to the floor. And then straighten the leg back up towards the ceiling. So you go a couple more like that, just bending and straightening the leg. And then place your right foot on top of the left thigh and open the right knee out to the right side. So you can stay there, or maybe your left foot comes off the ground and you interlace the hands behind either the left hamstring or the shin. Trying to keep the low back heavy to the floor. And then set both feet back to the ground. And take your left leg up towards the ceiling, walk the hands up the leg. Bend the knee like you're trying to tap that left knee to the ground. And then straighten the leg. So a couple more like that. One more time. And then figure four. So place your left foot on top of that right thigh and interlace the hands behind the right hamstring or the shin. Bring both feet down to the ground. You're going to roll yourself over onto your left side. Use your hands to gently make your way up. And we're just going to come into a comfortable seat position. So you can sit on that block. You can sit cross-legged. You can sit on the heels. Just take a moment. You can rest your hands on your belly. You can rest your hands on your thighs. Just close down the eyes. Soften through the shoulders, let go through the jaw. And just find some grounding by tuning into your breath. So not forcing or manipulating the breath. Just pay attention to your inhales and your exhales.
take all the time that you need here. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again real soon. Always be humble, be kind. Thank you. Namaste.